Battery energy storage is going ballistic. I mean, absolutely bonkers crazy. Last year was a record year for battery storage, basically doubled worldwide. Governments and businesses, they're building mega batteries to power the grid all over the world. But the numbers, well, they are a little bit concerning. The reason I say this is because even though a staggering 13 points 13.6 gigawatt hours of battery energy storage was built in January this year, which was the most ever in a single month. There is something that I noticed. Around 65% of all of those batteries that were built all across the entire planet, well, they were made in China. 65%. Now, I've had arguments recently, people say, no, 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 China is building out coal power plants like crazy. But actually, the stats prove otherwise. China has, well, they're no longer approving coal power plants and they're building up renewable energy and the batteries that are needed to support the solar and wind that they're building at a staggering pace. The equivalent to five nuclear power plants in renewable energies is being built every single week. The electric vehicle battery charging and infrastructure analyst owned by Benchmark Mineral Intelligence said its battery energy storage monthly assessment reported 81 new battery projects worldwide during January. And none of these are small. They're all enormous. With two thirds of this month's battery storage being built in China, Rowmotion reported the nation's energy storage projects included a 1.2 gigawatt hour project in Hubei province and the only three non-lithium-ion battery storage activated during the month was vanadium flow batteries with a total storage capacity of 90 megawatt hours. There was no sodium built in January. It was only vanadium flow and lithium batteries. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think sodium is going to take off? I actually had a look at this using chat gpt enterprise i said chat gpt enterprise what's the future of batteries in the energy storage market and it shocked me so i'm going to do a video on that one guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments very exclusive event here in newcastle saturday the 15th of march from 3 to 5 p.m i'll be speaking here with just a couple of other speakers very small event so you can meet me in person you can actually have a look at my ev as well the xpeng g6 test that out. I'll put a link in the description below to the event. I believe that the tickets will probably sell out very, very quickly. So if you're from Sydney, from Brisbane, from Newcastle, make sure you click on that link as quickly as possible to get in. There's, I think there's only around 30 tickets left at this point in time. I'll put that link in the description and I'll see you there. The biggest BYD Blade battery is actually located in Saudi Arabia. It's the largest single phase battery in the world. It's just been turned on and it's set to power millions of homes. You would think, right, Saudi Arabia, surely their, their main gig is oil. You know, they just basically drill millions of gallons of oil. So therefore, why would they bother with renewables? But actually, all across the Middle East, countries are going green. They are building out enormous massive, massive solar farms that are just bigger than the eye can see and huge battery packs to store all that electricity. What this means is they've now discovered you can in fact have a grid that runs purely off solar backed up by batteries, especially when you live in the desert. The world's largest battery project, which has been built in the desert, it's just been turned on and it is utilizing BYD's Blade batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, this is the biggest battery in the world that's currently switched on. Largest single phase. But there are more batteries that are bigger than this that are currently being built. So it won't be the largest in the world for very long. And that's pretty normal now. You know, only a few years ago, Tesla built the biggest battery in the world here in Australia, in a place called Adelaide in South Australia. It's now considered really, really small. So that's how things are trending at the moment. This new mega battery battery is located in Saudi Arabia, and it is a 500 megawatt, 2000 megawatt hour facility in Bisha, Asia province. 
It is the world's largest single phase energy storage project, and it will give around eight hours runtime. Now, the system includes 122 prefabricated battery units built by BYD, basically 122 mega packs. They're sort of a similar size to a Tesla um, crate box mega pack battery. All of them are lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, they're designed, the system is designed by Power China Hubei Engineering, and it was built to withstand extreme temperatures, extreme desert like conditions. So Saudi Arabia, it can get over 50 degrees Celsius. That is insanely, insanely hot. Therefore, you don't want a battery pack from LG Chem. You don't want an NMC battery. The kind of batteries you get in a lot of EVs today, for example, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, uh, the Porsche Taycan, quite a few different cars. Um, basically every General Motors EV in North America, in the United States, they all use NMC batteries. And those would probably not be ideal in this setting where temperatures can get incredibly hot. Now, keep in mind, the ambient temperature is gonna be maybe 50 degrees Celsius, but the temperature that's gonna be hitting inside this stationary storage project could reach 70, 80 degrees Celsius. It could get ridiculously hot. So they do need fans to keep the batteries pack, the battery packs cool. Now the project aligns with Vision 2030, aiming for 50% renewable energy by integrating solar and wind power. And Saudi Arabia procurement company is tendering four more batteries to be built, not no, basically nearby. All of these four batteries will be exactly the same in size. They'll be a 500 megawatt, 2000 megawatt hour battery projects. What that means is that within a few years time, there'll be five mega batteries that could potentially power around 15 million households. Five of the biggest batteries in the world, essentially all in one country, powering, well, a very large percentage of the population there. These batteries will be connected to massive solar farms. And we're now seeing in the Middle East, um, we're all, and we're now seeing in the Middle East that people are starting to recognize you don't actually need wind base load or nuclear base load or coal base load or gas base load. The battery can actually act as the base load itself. So we just saw yesterday uh, one of the biggest batteries in the world that is actually a battery and solar project. It can run it can run 24 hours a day. It can provide power 24 hours a day. And we're going to see more of these projects being built out across desert-like regions. 90% of the world's population live on the Sun Belt. So they will really... So what that means is that most of the world's population can actually have an electricity grid that just runs purely off solar and batteries. 